Coach? Are there people, other coaches that you lean on, that you talk to in, in times like this? Yeah, a lot of times you don't talk to anybody, you know. <laughs> um, I've not been very good when we've, when we've lost games about, you know, talking and, and calling people. You know, I used to talk to my dad a lot about it. There's no question about that, and I miss that. Certainly that's something that's no longer there. And, um, but, you know, there's not a lot of people you reach out to when you're, when you're getting beat. What do you look for in practices among players to, to show that they're still bought in? How do you, how do you see buy in? Attitude and effort, you know, and, and, you know, how they go out and work and, you know, are they still trying to get better in the individual drills? Are they still putting the effort in when we go group and team drills? You know, and I feel like these guys have, you know, and I think it showed offensively, certainly in the last, you know, four weeks and the, and the ability for Puma to overcome, you know, a setback get back on the field and feel now like he's starting to execute and do some things that he felt like he could do all along. You know, when you see guys stepping up like Hassan and, you know, Jalen Smith had probably his best game of the, of the season. And, you know, he got off to a really slow start. You know, unfortunately, he didn't get to practice for a long time and didn't start like he wanted to. You know, and the good thing about Jalen was he really worked hard at practice. It was killing him that he wasn't getting the performance and the production that he's used to getting. You know, it was good to see Seth come back. Seth has been injured and not, not out on the field much. So he came back, I think he had five catches for us, and then Tutu keeps getting better. And, you know, to see his production. So, you know, you, you work hard on, on uh, you know, individuals, and are you improving as an individual? And then you got to do it with your position, you know, the linebacker group, the O-line group, you know, how do we get better as a group, and then your side of the ball. So um, I do really believe that our players understand it's a team game and that we do win and lose as a team. And, and like I said after the game, though, you have to face it when, you know, one side of the three phases doesn't hold up. And so that's what we're trying to do. Follow up a little bit on the earlier question, Bobby. How are, are you said you don't talk to people. How are you handling? Do you talk to people? Well, you know, I mean, I, mean, I talk to people. I know. That. I, just, I, know. Yeah, I don't but, go calling and saying, "Hey, you got any advice for me?" <laughs> you know, I, I don't do that. Right, right. You know, and, and so how I might look at the phone and say, "Nah, I don't really feel like talking to you today." <laughs> I do that sometimes, but I don't like just like, not talk to people. Right. Well, I, that was kind of phrasing, but I know there's I knew a lot you... of answers out there, and they, you know, there should be. That's how this profession is. You know, you understand that. You know, I used to always feel good about it that, you know, you get to go out there and make the play call um, and knowing that everybody else in the stands had a better play you should call. <laughs> you know, that's how it works. That's, yeah. that's the name of the game. So you have to be able to, you know, believe in yourself, believe in what you do, handle the criticism, understand there's criticism. Um, but, you know, we've done a lot of great things here, too. We've done a lot of great things in our career. And, um, you know, we've got three conference championships and three different conferences. If you, if you guys recognize that we were seven and one two years ago and co-champions with Clemson. So that's, you know, so we believe in what we do. We're just not where we want to be this year. You feel did, like did you have any fear or indication at all back in August when you watched this team get ready for the season that this kind of season could happen? You know, I think what I did is I really felt like, um, that, hey, the defense is really starting to get better because we're making this more competitive in practice. In spring ball, I had some fears on, you know, the offense is going up and down the field on this defense, and they're young and inexperienced. We're making a lot of mistakes. And as we got into camp, I thought, well, this defense has really improved. Um, and maybe it wasn't that the defense improved or that we just weren't executing the way we needed to on offense. So You mentioned that the... Um that you have confidence the players are still bought into the program and the coaches. Is it a better gauge in the individuals in practice, or is it a better gauge in sort of the games and maybe watching film to see if guys are fully bought in and competing at a high level throughout the game? And yeah, it's certainly things? both. There's no question about that. But it's also, you know, in, in all athletics, private victories always succeed, um, you know, public victories. You have to be able to do things in practice and be successful in one-on-one -on -one drill and, and do it there um, before you actually go out and, and do it in the game. So, um, But certainly, it's you got to gauge both of them. There's no question about that. Um, 
But if you go out and practice and you don't have the focus and the effort and the concentration that you need, then we're never going to get it done in the game. Have you seen any signs of that being the case? No, I've, this team has done a good job of working hard and, and working to get better. And like I said, I think that's why you've seen the offense improve and get better. You've seen our special teams, you know, particularly our our punt uh, return and our and our punt team and kickoff cover team. I'm not happy with where we've been on on our kickoff return. You know, we're, we got to execute better and get better blocks because we have a really special returner. We have to block better for him. Bobby, social media has changed things so much in the last 10 years. Do you talk to your guys about staying off of that, or how do you keep the noise out of the locker room? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we bring people in to talk to them. Um, you know, it's just something that you do every preseason, bring somebody in. You know, you always talk to them about criticism and how to handle it, and, you know, but uh, you're, you're, it is part of society now. You know, like I like I can walk into the video room. We have a lot of student workers. We have our video workers and everybody else. And there can be ten people in that room, and not one of them is looking at each other or talking to each other. They're all staring at their phone. <laughs> you know, so that that's just it is what it is. Um, I would agree with Mike Gundy. <laughs> I heard what Mike Gundy did, and I said, Yeah, there we go. <laughs> What did he say? Huh. I don't know. You'll have to find out. <laughs> Last question. Bobby, if you were an administration with a sort of tough decision to make and viewing what's going on with the program in this year, would you retain you for another year? Yeah, I would. Yeah. You know, I think what you, what you see is what our record has been, what we've done here, what we've built here, you know, where we've been, and understand that, you know, we had a bad year. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.